most common questions I get uh, out of uh, those from those who read my book, Into the Deep, Finding Peace Through Prayer, is how do I create a sacred space? They're, they've read the book, they're, they've, they've, they're convinced essentially that a sacred space could be very powerful. I argue in the book that uh, distractions are a difficult thing to overcome in prayer and that if we can create a kind of dedicated special space uh, that uh, we can focus on when we pray, especially when we're distracted, it can have a powerful effect and, and it, it, it uses uh, our senses, if you will, to draw our hearts to God. So just like when you walk into a beautiful cathedral, you're immediately drawn to a kind of more, a much more prayerful attitude, especially if it's all new to you. A sacred space can be a huge help to overcoming distractions in prayer. So behind me, you see uh, my own sacred space. This is my prayer altar. And uh, you see on that altar I have a crucifix, a Byzantine crucifix. I have a, uh, an icon of Jesus from St. Catharines in Egypt. I have uh, uh, an icon of Mary and Jesus, uh, the Madonna, a Russian icon, and then some candles that hang. And, and uh, in the back, uh, you can see also um, relics. I have the tall one there. And, um, Right below Jesus is St. Teresa of Avila, it's a first class relic. I have St. John to the right of her if you're facing the altar, and then St. Marie of Jesus crucified. Um, as well, you can, you'll can you notice that I have figurines there. It's for Advent uh, and for Christmas, and that helps me during this in different times and seasons of the year to change the altar a little bit to help me to focus on Advent. Uh, and then to the left and right, there are larger icons. There's a, a breviary right behind me is a, is a kneeler. And all of this it doesn't take up much space at all. And it can be a very powerful aid to prayer. Now, when I first started with, a, uh, with an altar, I was in seminary. And uh, they did, recommended that I set aside, aside a special place for prayer. And so the little uh, double icon is uh, Jesus and Mary. That was my first, uh, part of my first altar that I ever had. In fact, I'll show you a picture here of uh, the setup. It was on a windowsill in a basement. As you can see here, it doesn't take up much space, you know, just a few square feet. That, the expense of that with a candle was, you know, in the neighborhood of $20. The altar behind me, of course, is a lot more expensive than that. But you don't really need much to set up a sacred space. You just need things that uh, means something to you. I love the Pantocrator icon of Jesus uh, on the on um, on the left there, and that one is my favorite icon of Jesus. And so every time I struggle, usually I pray with my eyes closed. But when I begin to uh, struggle and wander, I open my eyes and stare at that icon and say, "I love you, Jesus, my love. Grant that I may love you always and do with me as you will." So I hope this is a little bit of help for you in setting up your own altar. So may the God of peace make you perfect in holiness. May he preserve you whole and entire, spirit, soul, and body, irreproachable, at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. To learn more, click here or go to spiritualdirection.com forward slash pray.